Dear students, this screencast lecture is entirely devoted to a group of organisms called actinomyces. That is the old name and recently we used to call them as a actinobacteria. So, they are all the organisms which are having a morphological characteristics similar to that of the bacteria and fungi. That is part of the characters are like bacteria and a part of the thing is like fungi. Say, they possess the peptidoglycan in their cell wall. That is a characteristic feature of bacteria. However, they produce a lot of mycelium, which is a characteristic feature of fungi. The main characteristic features that makes them to be aligned with bacteria includes the high G plus C content in their genome. And the 16S RRNA gene sequence is showing a lot of similarity to that of the bacteria. They are unicellular forms like bacteria but produce mycelium which is of a non-septate and xenocytic in nature. It refers to a mycelium which is not separated by septa and the nucleus is present in a multi-nucleate condition. The mycelium is more slender. Their cell wall is mainly made up of peptidoglycan whereas they lack chitin and cellulose in their cell wall. These two components are importantly present there only in the fungal cell wall. They are also sometimes referred as a thread bacteria due to the small sized hyphae that have been produced by this bacteria. When they are grown in the culture media, they don't produce a slimy distinct colonies which is a characteristic features of common bacteria. However, they produce slow growing, powdery and highly consistent and sticking firmly to the agar surface. This is the characteristic features of the colonies produced by this actinobacteria. They produce hyphae, conidia and sporangia which are the characteristic features similar to that of the fungi. Now we look at the differentiating characteristic features that have been existing between fungi and an actinobacteria. Recently, actinobacteria has been placed under the phylum actinomycetota. Fungi normally forms into a thick hyphae that is of a 2 to 10 micrometer in diameter and the hyphae is of two types that is xenocytic as well as septate mycelium. Whereas, actinobacterial hyphae are very thin that is 0.5 to 1.5 micrometer in diameter that is the reason they are commonly referred as a thread bacteria and the hyphae is mainly of a xenocytic in nature. That is the nucleus is distributed throughout the hyphae without formation of any septa. The next point is the fungal cell wall are commonly made up of chitin. Whereas as is a bacteria their cell wall is made up of peptidoglycan. Fungi normally produces sexual as well as asexual types of spores, whereas actinobacteria commonly produces only asexual spores. For viewing a fungi in the microscope, it can be stained by using lactophenol cotton blue solution, whereas these actinobacteria are gram positive bacteria, so you need to subject them to the gram staining process. After staining, if you look at into the microscope, they will be looking as a gram positive. Fungi generally prefer an acidic pH for the growth, whereas actinobacteria prefer a neutral or a above neutral pH for their growth. In general, a few days to a week is maintained as an incubation period for the growth of the fungi in the petri plates. However, for actinobacteria, the incubation period commonly require around two weeks. That is after two weeks only you can able to see visible powdery colonies that may be of an actinobacteria. None of the fungi have so far been reported to fix nitrogen as they belong to eukaryotic organism and the eukaryotes are non-nitrogen fixers. Whereas actinobacteria are capable of fixing nitrogen. They are found in association there with the Cacherina plants. The name of the actinobacteria commonly associated is a Frankia. 
this franchia can able to form indeterminate type nodules there in the cashirna and can able to fix nitrogen and the last point is in organic matter decomposition fungi plays a major role there in the degradation of lignin which is one of the toughest polymer that have been present there in the soil litter in organic matter decomposition acnobacteria degrades mainly the chitin component that is commonly originating there from the fungal cell wall as well as from the insect cell walls acnobacteria are numerous and widely distributed there in the soil that is they found in highest number next to the bacteria in the soil they are widely distributed in soil as well as in the compost that is with the plant material if you perform a plate count to identify their population or to enumerate their population it will be somewhere around 10 power 4 to 10 power 8 per gram of soil they are highly sensitive to low or acidic ph optimum ph required for their growth is around 6.5 to 8 they cannot able to grow there in a water logged soil condition as it causes an anaerobic condition there the population of acnobacteria generally increases with the depth of the soil sometimes they can be isolated even from the horizontal sea of the soil profile they are basically heterotrophic aerobic and mesophilic can able to grow at a temperature of around 25 to 30 whereas there are some groups of acnobacteria that are thermophilic in nature especially the streptomyces and thermoactinomyces the they can able to grow at a temperature of around 55 to 65 degree centigrade the next paragraph is related with what are the common genera of acnobacteria found in the soil it is mainly streptomyces which comprises of 70 percentage of the acnobacterial population in the soil apart from that nocardia micromonospora actinoplanes and streptosporangium are the other groups of actinobacteria that are commonly encountered there in the soil system next we look at into the functions or roles of actinobacteria in the soil they degrade or decompose different kinds of organic constituents that have been present in the soil including cellulose polysaccharide protein fats organic acids when an organic residues or organic substances is added to the soil it was first decomposed or degraded by the bacteria and fungi and later on in the profile actinobacteria becomes a dominant organism as they are slow growers they will be commonly coming into play only after the complete multiplication of the bacterial and fungal population in an environment they can able to decompose or degrade the more resistant and indecomposable organic substance or matter that includes the lignin component also and produce a number of dark black to brown pigments which contribute to the dark color of the soil humus they are also responsible for subsequent further decomposition of the humus that is a resistant material of the soil that is when uh, organic matter is degraded they finally form into humus some actinobacteria are capable of even degrading the toughest component that is humus present there in the soil system next point is related to the production of a earthy order substance that is geospin we have already seen some points related to geospin production in the cyanobacteria so a earthy or musty order or smell of the freshly plowed soils are generally important due to the production of geospin by the actinobacteria many of the members of this actinobacteria are antibiotic producers especially the streptomyces streptomyces produce about at least 20 different kinds of antibiotics that include streptomycin teramycin aureomycin chloramphenicol canamycin etc the next point is related with the beneficial activity of actinobacteria there with the plant system actinobacteria such as franchia can able to form indeterminate type nodule there in the cashirna plants as well as alnus and morella cashirna is a plant which is commonly come across in our region also so in their roots this actinorhizes actinobacteria are forming a symbiotic association which is technically referred as actinorhizal symbiosis and in this symbiosis association the plant provides a shelter for this organism as well as certain carbon and growth requirement substances 
whereas this actobacteria fixes the nitrogen and supply for the plant system and the last point is related with the detrimental effect of the actinobacteria among the different actinobacteria mainly the streptomyces cabis which is the one which can able to cause some kind of a disease called as a potato scab disease there in the potato